Hey guys, Solomon here. Welcome to the grand finale for Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages and Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. Today I have Firefox, Lord Hemlock, and the Lucky 13 with me. Say hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hello, hello. Alright, so... Hello, mate. So if you've been playing along, this is where both storylines pretty much come together. It doesn't matter if you played Seasons or Ages first, this is where it all ends up. The final set of fights. Oh my now, god. Trippy. Now, the sad news is, this is not a blind run anymore. I had some problems with the first recording, so I actually know what I'm going to have to do for this next set of fights. Although, for the most part, it really wasn't that hard to figure out anyway, so, yeah. <sighs> Alright, so... Just, like, erase your memory. Uh-oh, it's the weird eye trap again. Yep. Aww. Fortunately, I figured out pretty early on how you're supposed to take care of this. Basically, note which direction the eyes are not looking in, and head that direction. I'm actually kind of curious, what happens if you go the wrong way? Okay, this is the way uh, I have to, to, go, to go. go. Let me actually see what happens if I go the wrong way, just just to see. Go back down. I have a feeling that something bad's gonna happen. Um. You just get lost. I guess you just get Pretty lost. Much. Okay. <clears throat> Never mind. Okay, up, down, and right. So go left again. And they look every way. It... They want me to go right again. Hmm. Okay, Going go back up. And, forth, and I made it. All right, this is it. We're almost done. There she is. There's Zelda. Dar she flows. Oh. It's like what the fuck? This is how you can tell it. He's high. This game is high. Dark oh. trip out. He's like whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, it's Twin Rova. Cue evil music. Even though it's the exact same music as before. Cue evil interjection onto music. Weird guys. Well, I can't really interject the music because then I'd lose your guys' commentary. Sad. Can't you just add another? Uh, can't you just add another source. Then it just sound ugly. Ugly uh, reset. Oh wait, then you'd lose your commentary. Never mind. All right, so it looks like uh, the two uh, sisters just went Super Saiyan because they're like hair nets flew off or something. <laughs> Super Saiyan. I can't even make it over nine thousand jokes. There's nothing over nine thousand. All right. Okay, so Teen. the oh, way wait, you fight wait, these two is just in like uh, in or uh, Ocarina. Basically, you gotta note that. Uh, hit the ice one with the fire shots, and hit the uh, fire one with the, I mean, the fire one with the ice shots, and the ice one with the fire shots. Basically, vice versa. Uh, opposites attract. Except in your case. Die. Well, that's messed up, Firefox. It's a I little difficult say. though, because I'm, I'm still kidding. not good at directing these fireballs, right? Well, ice balls, fireballs. Uh oh, now they're just being jerks. In he, do he doesn't work well with balls. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Pretty much. He doesn't like balls anywhere near him. That's what the last man said to him. Uh, I'm sure he likes a fair game of tennis. Oh come on, that should have hit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That would just be right difficult. in the face. <laughs> Tons of near misses here. Right in the face. Yeah, we hits. got him. Critical hit. Nice one. Bam. Oh! And again, they misspell Knox's name. It's Fort Knox in a game. What? Oh my god. What? What? What the hell? Alright. Go oh my god. Super fusion. Super Good metroid form. fusion. Whoa. Freaking out, man. Why does it have to be ice? Why can't it be fire? Oh. Because it's not me. Oh. Okay, so. Whoa. Fire. Fire! 
No, they should have made it. Whoa. They should have made it. Oh, oh wait, lava. hold on. I'm already screwing up. I'm forgetting that because I have the red it's ring on up. right now, and I only need to do two hits. Let's actually get the seed shooter on again. Oh, I already missed my cue. Oh god, I'm gonna appear in the lava. No, 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 no. Oh. That'd be jacked up if that happened. Again. Oh, come oh. on. Okay, now they're just being difficult. What bitch? Herpa derpa derp. Language Firefox. Firefox is ah. a bitch. Okay, no. so yeah. Um, no. this is kind of a... The boss fight here is pretty... Uh, I wouldn't say easy, but... It's simple enough. You just basically hit Twin Roba, and... You hit the Twin Bitch at three... I don't know how many times is it? Uh, you um, have to hit her four times normally with the Master Sword, or with the Red Ring, uh... You can kill her with the Red Ring of Death. Yeah. That's, I mean, there's, and there's four of them as well, so that counts. And the Xbox is somehow interjects into this. Oh hey, I actually took her out pretty quickly this time. But yeah, basically you gotta knock her back into her, like, half-state here, and then just hit her with a Scent Seed. How- it- the thing is, though, I really don't like that, because it takes so much time to figure out, oh, send seeds in that one form. You don't, you don't really, you really don't think to hit her when she's exposed like that, because it looks more like a damage animation. Yeah. And, and then you really don't realize send seeds specifically are the answer to beating her. To That's death. what annoys me a bit more, is the fact that, uh, it's specifically send seeds. Oh crap. The end of the world is nigh. Oh my god. Really? It's the end of the world? 2012, man. Oh. Only two years away. And yet only one boss away here. Right. Boss yes. fight takes two years. All right. Could be epic. <laughs> two year boss fight means right. old man. So let's go kill Ganon and, you know... I feel like, uh, being somewhat nice, so I'm gonna use the blue ring instead. <laughs> oh man. I'll I'm gonna kill him. What's the blue ring do again? Uh, the damage. blue ring basically halves all damage. Man, why would you want to do that? Because no, he can hit pretty can. hard. Oh, okay. Like, he, like he usually does make, one hard damage. damage each time, but I'm only, I'm reduced that down to like a... Uh -huh. Have a heart, yeah. Although, apparently he can do a little more than that if I'm not careful when... Oh, he's just teleporting in and out now. Oh, God. He can do more than meets the Oh, Ooh, trippy! Go get oh, in disguise. Okay, that didn't work out. In disguise. Oh I'm actually gonna God, try... You I feel like trying oh. to take him on normally. Why not? You're gonna die, Solomon. Shut up, Lucky. When it's true. It's gonna happen. Why can't I take on Ganon in a normal way? Because you couldn't be take him on easy. with half damage. Hmm? What would be the point? It was that you couldn't take him. You couldn't take him on when you had uh, like half of the damage. Now you're just gonna get raped. I miss the old days whenever you had to reflect the projectiles back to its face. Mm. Those days, days are wasn't long gone. gone. Would pick the... I know. I know. I feel old now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, old. Back in my day, we had to use a controller without motion controls, and we liked it! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Do you like, like it? Grumpy old, like a grumpy old fogey. Oh hey, I actually no, killed him with one heart left. In trippy form. Trippy form, trippy form. Trippy form? He exploded on top of me. That trippy form screws up his controls. Hmm. So I noticed... Can't the virus into his game. Dust causing it to crash. Yeah. Wakey wakey. Don't wake him up. Wakey wakey. You're gonna get killed. Put on the power where he'll just heft her up and just carry her out of the building. 
Great. Screw it. We're, we're walking. Let's go. Yep. So, yeah, we that, need Ganon. That'd be neat, Let's Rachel. just get out of here. Woohoo! Yay! Yes! Yes! There's your lesson of the day, Have folks. Luck. Using darkness to resurrect darkness only creates a mindless beast. I like how you're just like acting like the more you know. But does that mean happens. that if light and light equals a mindful beast? Who knows? Um, I have no idea. Mind <laughs> is blown. Oh, no, it's good. Just paladin. <laughs> uh, no, that would create uh. Buster Blader. Michael Jackson. No. Linda. It's kind of funny how some of these rocks are being dropped on my head and it's not actually hurting me. It hit, it hit so, um, Zelda. Like directly crushing Zelda, yeah. Yeah. It's like, uh, rocks. Oh. Huh. So, apparently we saved the day and... We're getting a Deo Dex Machina here. It's the oh, end of Deus the Ex Zelda verse. We're doomed. Debatably a Deku oh, Ex Machina or a Maku Ex Machina. Oh no! Look, look, the Deku tree is mocking you. Mind your back. <laughs> <laughs> Marking, mo mocking it. me with the one heart I have left. It's Deus Machina. No. Well, you almost died. You suck, Link. <laughs> Shut up. Duck. <laughs> hey, I'm only quoting what the tree would want me to say. Tree. That's fucked up. Either way. I knew you would find me really weak. Sean added narration. I go crazy. The Matrix has your link. There is no escape. Suddenly, like, five agents come in, take him away. <laughs> Everything disappears in the numbers. And now that I control the both numbers. seasons and time, I am basically going to devastate this world. I could be a benevolent master, but I'm just going to be an asshole. <laughs> Binary domination trait at his best. Uh, you guys, what did, like, what did, was a kid. Oh, not only did we get a kiss, but we pretty much broke the Maku Tree's heart. Oh, the Maku Tree oh, never I didn't get to seeds again. You the world's smiling now. Why is it smiling? The world's safe. I don't know. Well, that was a fun game, I'd say. What do you guys think? Awesome. I loved it back when I played. Most it. interesting. Awesome. Well, I have to now... admit, my favorite part was the floor that tried to kill you. <laughs> I think Lucky's part was just where I kept screwing up. Probably. Yeah. So, because I just love Soul's Pain. Yeah. As you can remember from my la one of my last ones, uh, in, uh, the desert in the last Let's Play. Oh, yeah. Mmm, desert. Alright. Awesome. So, I think now is a good time to uh, actually... Uh, Say what my review for this game is, so if I could just have some silence, please. For the plot of this game, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 stars. Overall, it was a plain plot, I'll admit. Very Zelda-ish. It was straightforward enough. The one thing I'm giving an extra point on this for, though, is the whole joint element. It wasn't just, like, one story. It was two stories. And beyond that, it was two stories that were actually part of one larger story. So I actually kind of like that. Gameplay, 4 out of 5. Uh, the mechanics were pretty standard to Zelda. Easy to use, very fun, I really enjoyed them. Um, one thing about the gameplay overall though that I really didn't like is just uh, the whole fact that half the bosses were really kind of a puzzle within themselves to solve. And I really didn't like that because, like, how was you, if, how are you supposed to know that Anox was supposed to be defeated using the spin attack, which you really don't use throughout the entire game. How are you supposed to know to use sense seeds against Twin Roba? I... I really don't know. Graphics, 3 out of 5. Um... For the Game Boy Color, these were pretty good graphics, but... 
overall, I found them pretty generic. I mean, I'll admit, at best, all you have really are these cutscene pictures here, like, with Zelda staring at the night sky. Really, though, that's really the best graphics I've seen, so not really too over the top for this system, so there you go. Music, 4 out of 5. The music was good for the Game Boy Color. For the series, it was pretty much same stuff, I suppose, but some of them were actually pretty well done. I, I especially like, like, the Legend of Zelda theme remixed in the Past of Ages. I really like that, so there you go. Replay value, 5 out of 5 stars, because if you have both games, you can start with Seasons, end with Ages. If you have Ages, you can start with Ages and start end with Seasons. It, it, you can play it either way, find a lot to in either game. There, This is just one... These are these kind of games that just really make you want to explore in both, in every way possible. So, yeah, really enjoyed that. Fun Factor, 4 out of 5 stars. The puzzles were fun. Action was usually challenging, but in a fun way. And there were the frustrating moments where that could have just been me being stupid. I don't know. Maybe I'm not a great Zelda player. That's always possible. But overall, it was a fun game. I really enjoyed it. So, yeah. That said, overall, I'm giving this game 24 out of 30 stars, which surmises to 4 out of 5 stars. So what do you guys have to think about that? Yeah, that's yeah. your call. Yeah. You don't want to play the game. Not much we can add. Yep. And, and there I am right safe there. again! Oh my gosh, the Triforce just turned into three birds. Three triangle-shaped birds? And then someone just like shoots one of the birds out of the sky. Oh no! And then you miss one, and then the little dog laughs at you. And then it becomes a duck Well, the Nintendo Zapper again. And Link leaves on his next adventure. Link's Awakening. Quite literally, this is like, I think, where Link's Awakening picks up right here. So, I can see that. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages and Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. There's still some things in both games I want to show, but for now, this is Solomon signing off. See you guys next time. Say bye, guys. Bye, bye guys.